Yo, what up guys, it's your boy Williams Fitness back again with another video. I'm going to kick this off. It's the last day for the Arnold Classic. These are the final updates. We're going to kick it straight off with my good friend Terence. Terence Ruffin, or Diesel. And here we've got a, a side bicep pose, six shot. I love the sort of old school aesthetic of these pictures. Very grainy. Almost gives the impression that he is very grainy. <laughs> um, this, you can still see a slight bit of water retention. See where the skin's pinching there. Um, other than that, he's in absolutely peak condition. Obviously, he is retaining his title from last year. He was the winner of the 2021 Arnold Classic. Another rear sort of uh, bicep pose there. Again, looking absolutely incredible. We do have Brion in this lineup, and I do have pictures of Brion. Uh, and Brion is coming up next. So Brion, obviously, last one in 2018. We've got, a obviously, a front double bicep shot there. Brilliant vacuum, brilliant conditioning. The only thing I hate about these pictures isn't Brion in them. It's whoever took them, the, what were they taking them on? A Nokia or a potato? Like... I'm sure he looks in incredible condition, but Brian, next time, look at the photos and go, nah, I'm not posting them, let's do it again. These look trash, unless that was the plan. Again, he does look in brilliant shape. Uh, again, lower back doesn't look that good, but the quality of these photos is absolutely awful, and the lighting on this is trash. The chest looks all right. Doesn't look that, you know, doesn't look that tight, doesn't look like that dialed in, but again, the quality of the photos is, is awful. Brian, sort your cameraman out or, you know, Upgrade his phone. Next up, obviously, we've got Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry posted this side tricep shot. He looks insane. He just looks insane. He is there to dominate. He's there to win. Somebody actually posted a comment um, on a YouTube video the other day saying that Brandon should just do a Zoom call uh, and do his posing from home because he's already won. I thought it was quite a funny comment. Obviously, next up, we've got William Bonnach, very good friend of mine, looking an incredible midsection. Doesn't look dialed in that well, but I don't know what the aim of that photo shot was. And finally, we've got Peter Molnar, who's posted this sort of posing routine uh, in his gym, I'm guessing after a pump, after a workout. He's looking really good, in really good shape. He's definitely a top six for me. Um, I wouldn't quite put him in the top five just yet. I just think that the legs need a little bit more size. Um, it's a good quality video. Um, but again, I, th I think he needs a little bit more work, a little bit more size. But he does look really good. Again, remember yesterday's video? Uh, if you haven't watched it, go and watch that of the ones to watch, the ones that to look out for. Some of these big dogs are coming out of the industry soon. You will not be seeing the likes of Brandon Curry on stage in, say, five years' time and Big Ramy in five years' time. You need to start looking at the new up-and-coming guys. If you are a fan of bodybuilding, you can follow their career from the start. Um, so I highly recommend any new guy that you see on any stage, um, at a national or international level, go and check out their Instagram. Do they have some potential? Would you like to see them progress in the future? Follow them early. On that note, guys, I've been me. You've been you. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.